Thank you, Mr. <laughs> Waves are not bad here at all. No. The water is so nice. No, it's so pretty. Tall man over there. We need that. Tall girlfriend too. Parker, I'm so amused. I need one right now. Oh, he does have a tall girlfriend. What? He will definitely ask for money. I'm from Canada. Get out of here. My Canada. friend Parker is an amazing. He's from Cirque du Soleil. Oh, Canada. Oh, yeah, see. That's Canada. Canada. Okay. Okay. Look at that stand. Quebec, Super. Cirque du Soleil. Ah, in Vancouver. That's I mean, a power uh, stand. My friend Parker is going to do a handstand. And he wants you to walk through. He's going to kick you in the nuts while you go through. speaking in Spanish porque yo no Okay, so. Come on, just hold it. Just him. Hold the most still handstand you can. Parker, start with the handstand and then we'll go from there. You can hold the most still handstand and it'll give him that much fame. Cirque du Soleil, ready? Cirque du Soleil. Okay, ready? Watch. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, he's drunk. <laughs> okay, go. okay, go. You go, go over. Go. Now you no, walk. you walk over. Now you walk. I just got a freaking kick in the nuts. <laughs> Thank you. Good enough. Still counts. Still counts. Let's be honest, it was probably worth it. Look at this guy. He was gonna let you kick him in the nuts. We need two. Do, 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 do.
the biggest favela in Rio right now. It's called Ocinha. And it's like 20,000 people here. It's been here since the 1930s. Checking out some local artwork. It's all basically pictures of Rio, the city itself. And it's all really cool. Um, artists ranging from like 11 years old and up. It's really cool. Just finishing up our favela tour. Population 300,000. So this would have been the quote unquote cheapest place to live and then one kilometer that way. You can't see it from here. The property's on the beach. 15 million reals. It's about 7, 8 million. American for one apartment. Last night I had a bunch of twos and fives and stuff. Tens, sure. Yeah. Those kids were wicked. It was kind of crazy to, kind of crazy to see them just grab whatever they got. Yeah. And make make sweet noise happen. With it. And the little kids come and dance. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. Hello. Fifteen hundred meters above Rio de Janeiro. It's half past noon. Got my white pants, and we're gonna go to the lookout point and see what happens. What are we doing at the lookout point? Um, probably jumping off of it. With some kind of kite device. And hang gliding. Sounds good to me. <laughs> We've got to run. We're yeah, off the edge. don't Apparently. jump. They're like, just run, run, run. And when you get off the edge, just don't keep stop running. running. Keep running. <laughs> no, until you're not touching. You got to run, and you uh, got to yeah. run really fast, and you can't stop running, or else you're just gonna. <laughs> Ready for this? Any final words, Russia? I feel very safe with Blade here, taking good care of me. I think I'll survive. <laughs> you gonna survive, buddy? Dude, I am so excited. The initial dips just look so sketchy when they go and then even out. Are you gonna do any tricks? I'm gonna see if my guy will do a backflip or two. Oh, yeah? Why not? What's the name of the game? Game of the name is run off the edge and keep running. Give me 10 push ups. Fine. <laughs> One big clap. Two big clap. Three. <laughs> oh! Let's do this. Let's do this. I'm great. Do you have control? I have no control. I'm a little nervous. Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> Getting all suited up to go hang gliding. Pretty excited. Who are you relying on today? This is Zero. Yeah. This is my man. Zero. Yeah, buddy. That's Parker. <laughs> <laughs> How was your experience, Russia? Pretty good. Uh, liberating. Yeah. What are you videotaping up there in the sky? 
and taking a video of Jabez. Who? Jesus. Who? Jesus. Jesus crazy. He's right here. He's Jesus. real big. Jesus. He's looking over everything. Yeah, Jesus, your face, you know. Uh, if I could take four letters out of the alphabet and describe this statue, it'd probably be E, P, I, and K. Wait, no. Yeah, that's right. What? Huh? Jesus. It's pretty impressive. Jesus. It's the biggest artistic statue in the world, I was told. So we got an eight meter block he's standing on, a 30 meter statue that is a total of 38 meters high from where I'm standing right now. Mm, wingspan, fingertip to fingertip, is 28 meters. Is it? Yes. <laughs> and uh, the funniest part here is probably all the tourists doing this and lying on the ground for pictures. It's, it's like hilarious. Pizza. It is. It's just like the Leaning Tower. <laughs> Maybe I'll just tell you that it's a beautiful day in Rio de Janeiro, and I'm about to take some friends out on my boat. Come with me. Nice fun. Thank you. <laughs> So we're at the base of Sugarloaf on a boat cruise. Spectacular day out. We're about to go fishing for squid. Alright. anything yet? Nope. I just started two minutes ago. What's your plan? Catch the squid. Kill the squid. You think he's gonna catch the squid? I hope so, that's right. I hope so too. Yeah. We do catch a squid. We're using it as bait oh. for bigger and better fish. Are you fishing with bait to catch the squid? Nope. A lure. Huh. Maybe you'll catch Parker. That's a bad idea. We're on route to Cristo right now. Not Monte Cristo, nothing crazy like that. Monte Cristo, maybe a bit more. Anyways, we're going to Cristo. We're going to finish filming up or wrapping up our entire Contiki experience, our entire journey in South America. What else? We're going to do some monologues where we share our experiences, our emotions, and what we've gained, what we've lost. Arjun. Yes, we well, We didn't see any last time. We didn't see any last time. I saw some last time. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Jesus, oh, I saw well, spider monkeys. We did see some monkeys. There we go. We saw monkeys. We did see monkeys. So, we see monkeys. We see, see, see monkeys. Crystal? No, here. Yeah, yeah, Crystal. Yeah. They were, um, they right, were we saw some on the building. Don't pronounce it. Okay, so keep your eyes peeled for this shot. Oh, dude. Look, there's a cliff. Dude, as cool as it is, ruined our shot. <laughs> I don't know, man. This cloud cover's okay. High on life and shit. We're on top of the world, baby, in some clouds. <laughs> That's the way we roll, high on life. Brazil part of the trip? Perfect. That's my favorite part of the trip. Uh, Riker touched on this a little bit too, but I might as well because it was still part of Brazil. Iguazu Falls, a huge span of waterfalls that is everywhere you look once you're in the middle of it all. That was unreal. I'll let his part take care of that. But I enjoyed the beginning of Brazil. First thing we did was hit Iguazu Falls National Park. Super cool. Unbelievable experience. Then we fly into Rio de Janeiro, or as they say here, Rio which is interesting. They don't pronounce their R's at the beginning, it's the H sound, but that's cool because we like learning the language. Rio, one of the coolest things that we did there was we went to this favela. The favela is Portuguese for shantytown or slum. Um, and basically it's 
a whole bunch of small kind of brick and mud clay houses in this tight-knit community. Like we're talking 200,000 people in only a certain, like a two, three kilometer radius. Like it's not that big, but it's so compacted and there are so many people there. The majority of the people there are kind of have a carpentry background, so they do a lot of the work amid their own, their own shanty town and stuff. But when they took us through, like there were little kids that had these plastic buckets and tin cans and they're doing this sweet drum performance and these even younger kids come by and they start like dancing around for us and stuff. They do tours through the favela every day of the week. So this is like a, a common occurrence for them to see us gringos walking through and taking pictures and us of course wearing our bright neons. They're just like holy gringo from a mile away, you know, right? First impression I got, I guess, walking into the favela was, wow, these roads are tiny and the streets are so narrow. Like you got streets as narrow as like one meter through some parts and buildings that's, you got one house and one house here and their walls are this far apart. You couldn't even fit a person between them. Like it's really, really compact. But then at the same time, you got popo rolling around. So there's cops with just massive rifles and like sweet looking body armor kind of stuff, just patrolling and just chilling there. And then um, the other thing that I really need to touch on in Rio especially is the beaches. We're in Brazil. Like one, the sand is a real treat on the eyes and on the feet. It's so soft when you walk, it makes that little that squishy squeaky sound, which is really funny. There's waves in the water, people are surfing, people are up in the sky paragliding and hang gliding all over the beach. We did some hang gliding. A lot of people really warned us about, you know what, Rio de Janeiro is extremely expensive, like more so than Vancouver even. We didn't have long enough here though. We spent maybe five or six days total in Rio and it wasn't nearly enough. Everything that needed to happen or that, that we didn't have control of, we were just guided to it very smoothly. So that was a really cool experience for me, more so than even Peru and Argentina. Like just something about the energy here really worked to our benefit. And it was that, it was really nice. It was helpful. Sweet, wrap it up, done. We're done, we're done, we're done.